and must stress that we do not believe you would desire such destruction. We come not to lodge accusations, but to beg your wisdom. Greetings. Can you hear me? Do not be alarmed. I mean you no harm. I wish only to hear your words. Share your feelings. Know your thoughts. May we please be friends. Oh shit. She's turning creepy. I'm sorry, Hermes. I'm so sorry. Who can hear these words? Then please, please protect them. Protect them all. Individual self-suspended. Connection with shared consciousness stable. Enna. No extant life forms detected. Tessera. No extant life forms detected. They are all dead. Remind me, Hermes. What exactly was the question you entrusted to Meteon? I tasked her with asking what others live for. What gives their lives meaning? Did you consider what may happen if the premise of the question is flawed? To be able to answer it, one must be living and desire to continue doing so. But if Meteor finds no living beings in the course of her journey, or none who desire to live, what then? What answers would she derive from their silence? We are taking Meteor back to Amorant. <laughs> Aye. Whatever answers we find, I will not dismiss them out of hand. These words I said to you, I will hold myself to them. Ah. You cannot take me to know. Not until she has finished the report. Wing defiance. I have no wish to fight, but this time, I counsel you. Though the world may think me a man, and so fool, I will hold fast to my conviction. It's over, Hermes. In the name of the Convocation, I hereby take Meteon into custody. I am so sorry, but that I could have listened to your report in full, reflected upon its meaning, and conveyed it to others, that they might reconsider their chosen course. Here our fates become the province of others. I bid you tell me just one thing. Was there happiness in those distant stars? Was there a reason for living? The worlds apart, these people shared a belief. The belief that they had tried their best. That they had tried to fulfill their potential with every step and success. In the course of which, they learned the truth. That they would never be free of fear and sorrow, anger and despair, of loneliness, so long as they yet lived. There is no need to struggle in vain, for in nihility awaits salvation. You will know peace and serenity, and it will be beautiful. She crazy, man. Who are you to decide our fate? To decree we live or die? What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? You heard what she said. She means to destroy us all, yet you'd still take her side? In the name of the star. We have discarded those creations that we deemed flawed. If we ourselves are flawed, it does not stand to reason that we too should be discarded. 
Let us settle this with a determination. I will make a judgment on man's fitness to exist. If he can learn to value all life and retain his will to live, he will surely find a way to revert his demise. Kairos, awaken! The resultant shockwave accidentally triggered Kairos, which erased several days of memories from all present. Execute. She is all red rum like. Wow! This ends here! That is far enough, Hermes! Argos, to me! Oh. No matter what, you cannot forget what happened today. For it is the key to saving your future, your world. This fight is our fight. What comes after, our problem to contend with, not yours. Your own struggle awaits. And no one else can take your place. Neither can I let you escape. There's no time! Quickly! Even now, I do not believe your tale. I would not suffer us to walk such a wretched path. Still, if it must be said, do not squander it. The legacy I leave you. So, it is within. The portal that brought you hither and will take you home. May you and yours emerge triumphant. We must find a way to defeat despair. To unite and prepare as many as possible for the struggle ahead. Heavy will weigh the burden of guiding this legion of souls. Yet I have faith in mankind's potential. As long as he believes in himself, there is naught he cannot achieve. So I will not give up on him. On us. And when mankind has found the strength to stand against despair, we shall silence the song of oblivion. She who sings it will learn our journey is far from over. This I promise. Fare you well, my light of the future, till we meet again. From this day forth, I shall strive to bring honor to the seat of Fandan. Even now, I remember standing there, locked in a moment where the sky is aflame. That which hides at the edge of the universe is no longer hope's creation. It is hopelessness incarnate. That day, mankind saw half of its number sacrificed to bring forth Zodiac. Covering the star in a shroud of ether, we forestalled the final days. Yet the cries echoed still. We wept for innocence lost, wailed for death inevitable. A reality too terrible to bear. And for too many who sought comfort in gilded memories of joyful days and tranquil nights. This is all wrong. 
Why must we suffer so? There must be a way to restore things to the way they were. To reclaim the perfect paradise we once had. No, my friends. Suffering exists. And we cannot pretend otherwise. No civilization, however great, could eliminate it. If we would live, we must accept it as our constant companion. Let us not seek to forget this tragedy. Let us carry it in our hearts, that we may grow stronger and know true happiness. We can't accept it. We won't accept it. It will be ours again. A world free of sorrow. No, it will not. For there has ever been sorrow. Mankind was but spared its biting sting for a time. No paradise is without its shadows. If we cannot accept this truth and learn from our pain, then our plight shall be repeated. We bid you hear our prayer. Accept this offering of lives and deliver unto us the lives we once had deliver unto us the days of old. The days when the star was a font of love and we knew naught but bliss. Oh. They decided to go that crowd. Now open your eyes while our plight is repeated. You would destroy it? Our beautiful world? Lands that stretched on forever. Skies one could drown in. The heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all, a people. Beacons of light and life. Laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. They are my meaning and my purpose. My love. In spite of, or perhaps because of this, I choose to believe in mankind's potential, in his ability to find a way forward. So let there be no way back. From that temptation, I sunder us. No more shall man have wings to bear him to paradise. Henceforth, he shall live. All is excruciating pain. I breathe fire and torment. I birth a world of suffering to mire and play. In one fleeting moment, lives come and go ever moving towards the unknown. And in that fleeting moment, they cry for the answer to the question. Why, given life, are they meant to suffer, to die? As fragmented, imperfect beings, yours is a never-ending quest. Quest to find your purpose, knowing your end is assured. To find the strength to continue when all strength has left you. To find joy even as darkness descends. And amidst deepest despair, light everlasting in the same moment thou must live die and know
Wow. Holy shit. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Oh, that was the promise she was talking about. 